Lucas Media. So we got breaking news. Future Hall of Famer Aaron Donald has officially retired. Aaron Donald been played for uh, nine seasons. He was, was drafted uh, in 2014, number 13. So you know how people say that's an unlucky number. But uh, he was drafted number 13 overall by the then St. Louis Rams. Of course, they moved to L.A. And he had this phenomenal career. Uh, Three-time defensive player of the year. Eight-time first-team All-Pro and 10-time Pro Bowler. Oh, my bad. So he played 10 seasons. 10-time Pro Bowler. Uh, part of the NFL 2010's All-Decade team. And, of course, he won a bunch of awards in college. He finished his career with 543 total tackles, 111 sacks, 24 forced, forced fumbles, 7 forced recoveries, and 21 plat pass deflections. Uh, we're losing one of the all-time greats. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. It's not even up for debate. Arguably the greatest defensive tackle of all time. And he's had one of the greatest worth ethics all, of all time. Aaron Donald really had a Kobe, a Michael Jordan worth ethic. Now, he's on the defensive side, so he don't get the the notoriety of Patrick Mahomes. But you look how many times he was voted one of the top football players in the um, NFL by his peers. And I'm talking about top 10, top 5, and some years number 1. Uh, he started dedicating his life at a younger age. From what the age of 13, him and his dad started going to the gym in the basement. And he got obsessed with it. And even though he was slept on, he used that same worth ethic in the, and it carried over to the NFL. So, I mean, he's a legend. You know, he made a lot of money. I'm sure he got a lot of things planned after football. I mean, what more can be said? He got a Super Bowl ring. And, you know, him, Warren, I mean, it's debatable. Him, Warren Sapp, a couple other players, but he's up there, you know. But I personally got him as the number one defensive tackle. Y'all let me know who's y'all number one. I'm not, I mean, it's all debatable, but yeah. I mean, what worth ethic have we ever really seen like that in this generation? Especially when you got all these athletes that make all this money, and then they get to crying and whining and, and not putting no work in once they get a contract. This is the man who was always underpaid in his career. Aaron Donald should have been making $50, $60 million a year. You know, but the NFL got this weird scale to where the quarterbacks make the most and the running backs make the least. And But yeah, this man was severely underpaid his entire career. But man, you got a hell of a career, Aaron. You know, I wish you nothing but the best. Tell me what y'all think.